Hello. Did you just finish high school or you're about to and you have no idea what's gonna happen next? Because that was me. I still don't know what I'm gonna be doing in the future, but I did make it through my first year of post-secondary, so I'm gonna talk about it. If you don't already know, I took the Art Fundamentals program at Sheridan College, which is in Canada. It's a one-year program typically used as a stepping stone for other more advanced programs. It teaches the basics and helps you improve your art and portfolio. Now, I can't say I got the whole college freshman experience since it was online. The closest thing to getting lost looking for your classroom is not being able to find the Zoom link. I know online was difficult for a lot of people, but personally, I sort of enjoyed it. I had everything set up in the comfort of my own home, and I was able to take snack breaks and get some tea whenever I wanted. During high school, I barely talked in group discussions since I was very shy, but on Zoom, I could use the chat and talk with my classmates easily, and they were all super fun. Another thing about online was I didn't have to get all dressed up. Oversized t-shirts and sweatpants all week. Sometimes even the same ones. Now, if you're going into Art Fundamentals 2 or debating between attending, you may be wondering what the program itself is like. I'm personally really glad I took it. I believe you don't need to go to college to be successful in art as long as you've got a strong portfolio. However, it does have its benefits. First semester, I had the same classmates for all my classes since all the students are put into groups. This allowed us to make group chats on Instagram and Discord and become pretty close. We'd help each other out if anyone was having trouble and kept each other on top of everything. We had six courses per semester. 3D design, intro to drawing systems, intro to drawing, essential communication skills, intro to 2D design, and intro to color theory. All of them were very useful and had me going out of my comfort zone, drawing and painting things that I normally wouldn't have. The workload wasn't too bad, it only got stressful once the portfolio deadlines were coming up, and even then, the professors were very understanding. Do you remember in high school when the teachers would be super strict and say, we're preparing you for college? Well, for me, college was significantly easier than high school. If you had to hand something in late, the professors were chill about it as long as you communicated. But then again, I am taking art, and I'm sure there are university programs that are way more intense. Still, if anything, my mental health actually improved since high school, so that was fun. Back to the portfolio deadline. Now, for the most part, my first year of college was very calm, and I was ahead of everything. But then, in January, that all sort of went downhill. For one thing, I was putting my heart and soul into this portfolio. I was so determined to get into the animation program, which I didn't. I was drawing, redrawing constantly until I had to hand it in. And after that, I was so burnt out, I did start slacking a little bit. Second semester, although it wasn't any more difficult than the first, I did start putting in less work. I still went to class, of course, although I discovered I could not pay attention and still get good grades, which was not a great discovery. And I could leave assignments until the day before it was due. Since my marks were okay, I didn't really have the motivation to change my habit since I was still so tired from working on the portfolio all that time. I'm not saying you should do this though, like, please pay attention in class, okay? Don't follow my example. Now, here are some things that I learned to help me through the year. This isn't just for my program, it's for like any art program. One, keep a planner. Whether it's on paper or on your phone, keep track of when all your assignments are due and cross them off once you've handed them in. Two, now, now come in close. Listen, okay? This one's important. It's okay not to put 100% into everything, okay? You don't need to be a perfectionist for every assignment. Sometimes, it's better to put 70% 
into six assignments so you can finish them without pulling all-nighters, then putting 100% into three of them and realizing you don't have time for the rest. That being said, do take note of how much the assignment is worth. Like if it's worth half your grade, maybe put more effort. But in general, I'm just trying to tell you it's okay if everything isn't perfect, so don't stress that it has to be. And three, look at your peers as your friends and not competition. Now you may be thinking, Shan, that's obvious. Who looks at their classmates as competition? But hear me out. When we finished an assignment, we would post it on this website called Padlet where you could view everyone else's submissions. At first, I was comparing my art to theirs. I was thinking mine wasn't as good or someone else's was so much better and I'd feel really bad about it. But the more I did it, the more I learned, we're all in the same boat and no one is judging other people's art. Everyone has classes that they're stronger in and weaker in, and that's okay. It's good to encourage others, tell them what you like about their art, and maybe make note of their techniques to help you improve your own. Help each other out instead of comparing, and it will make the experience so much more enjoyable. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Have an amazing day. Bye!